Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more. With Time Bank, you've got this. Having an e-commerce store requires an associated online payment transaction through which you can receive payments. And with the growth of 4IR, more and more businesses are in need of a secure online payment system. You are watching Small Business Evolution and my guest is the Chief Commercial Officer at Payfast, David Adams. David, thank you very much for joining us. Now, Payfast is one of the popular payment portals where it powers around 80,000 merchants in South Africa. How does a payment portal like this one assist online merchants with growth? Right. Firstly, thank you very much for having me on the show. It's a, it's a great pleasure to be here. So uh, let me start by saying that Payfast by Network is actually a, um, a collection of a best of breed payment providers in South Africa that has come together to form uh, one single group under the banner of Payfast by Network. Um, what that has allowed us to do is to bring these different providers together to service different segments um, in the payment space and that brings about quite a bit of diversity in terms of the solutions that we are able to provide to merchants. Um, the benefit, I think, is bringing these organizations together. It means we've been able to pool quite a bit of the assets, quite a bit of the products and solutions and expertise, which really allows us to uh, significantly disrupt the market. And, and the aim is really to deliver to, to merchants and businesses enhanced security solutions, uh, more seamless checkout when processing transactions online, and really just facilitating a better consumer experience when shopping online. Just speaking on seamless checkouts and just efficient payment systems like yourselves, please share some of the different types of online payment methods. When I think about paying online, one of the most prevalent methods in the past was predominantly card payments. So it would either be a credit card or a debit card that has been enabled um, for payment online. But more and more, we see the prevalence of the different type of payment methods. As an example, um, electronic funds transfers, where consumers are able to pay directly from their bank account without the use of a credit card or a debit card. Um, Mobile-based payment methods as well, mobile money has become more and more prevalent as well. And really as the, the form factor, as we call it, changes from a card to um, a mobile as a store of value, we see stuff like mobile money, scan to pay, which really these methods are bringing about more convenience for consumers, allowing them to check out easier rather than having to dig into their wallet to get out a card, capture a lot of details. So it's all centered around security, really centered around convenience. And so we see the blend of payment types um, becoming far more varied than we'd seen in previous years. David, just looking at the SMEs that are making use of your services and also startups that are looking to approaching you, can you please just take us through the transactional fees that are associated with being a part of your platform? Sure. So, uh, so really, I think the, the important thing to note is, depending on the type of business, and you mentioned startup, you mentioned SMEs, and then we get business of different sizes. Our approach really when it comes to pricing is, is looking at a merchant's business and understanding what makes sense for them. Um, and so pricing generally tends to differ. In one case for a merchant, it may make sense to pay on a per transaction basis. In other cases, it may mean that merchants choose to buy a bundle, which gives them more predictability on their pricing, allows them to plan better from a cash flow perspective. And then in certain cases, there is what we term an ad valorem fee, where merchants choose to uh, take a pricing plan, which is more centered around a percentage of the transaction value, because that way it allows them to only pay when a transaction happens yes. as opposed to having this outlay of cost when transaction does not happen. 
Now, David, before you know, we wrap things up, it, it, it would be an injustice not to ask this question. See, a lot of cybersecurity experts have shared reports that there have been an increase in cyber attacks on organizations and SMEs. I think the number right now is around 83% in 2022. So what are some of the measures that PayFast has set in place in order to sort of build a very strong and solid cybersecurity system, especially for your clientele? Absolutely, and that's a wonderful question. Um, we see in some of the reports from local regulators that they're getting more than 500 incidents reported on a monthly basis um, around data breach and, and, and consumer credentials being breached. So, so what we do essentially is First thing to recognize is that businesses of different sizes have access to differing amounts of uh, resources, whether that become, is related to technology or whether that is related to financial resources. So the way we offer our solutions are, is it's a range of security solutions. And I'll use an example. Um, there's something in the industry called PCI DSS, which stands for Payment Card Industry and Data Security Standards. Yes. And that can place quite a onerous burden on merchants. And what we do is we deliver solutions to merchants that really says, when accepting payment, no card data or no personal data will be captured in the domain of the merchant. And PayFast combination of technology and solution then removes all of that burden or most of the burden from merchants and ensures that that data is securely stored, securely encrypted, and the right cyber security standards are placed around that. One more question, just to squeeze in one more. How do you ensure mm. that your systems are also evolving with the times as well? Because um, you do hear things like your artificial intelligence, uh, conversational AI and all of that. and how is PayFast making sure that they are keeping ahead of the trends? Again, a great question. And it's, uh, it's you know, ensuring that your solutions are future fit and evolving over the times. It's, it's not an option anymore. It is, uh, it's absolutely mandatory if you are to service merchants and the ecosystem correctly. So uh, we do this through a, a few measures and, um, uh, the challenges that presented itself with uh, the pandemic and the need to rapidly scale systems was a true test of that. And so one of the many measures that we put in place is, is uh, centering around uh, cloud computing and cloud strategy. So really ensuring that a combination of different technologies are incorporated. incorporated. And one I mentioned cloud computing and our cloud strategy, which really allows us to um, scale quite significantly based on demand. And I mentioned the pandemic because uh, most businesses were not prepared for the growth or the demand that the growth presented within the pandemic. And it was really through our strategy of, um, of cloud computing, managing and auto scaling through these technologies that allowed us to quickly respond, quickly invoke what we call uh, rapid scale business processes. Well, thank you very much, David. That was the COO of PayFast, David Adams, offering insights on online payment transaction systems in South Africa. That's it from me. Stay tuned for more on Business Day TV. Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more. With Time Bank, you've got this.